Come on, give me a lock. Give me a lock. Uh, no! Okay. Oh, jeez! Uh, oh, oh, that's bad. Uh, I think I could see a little bit of debris. You know, it'd be really funny if that debris would come and just hit us right now. Uh, hold on, let's go and play with the groups here. Uh-oh. YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Simple Planes. And folks, it has been a long time since we've played this game, but we are finally back. And there has been a new update. We have detailed cockpits. So if you recall, this game has never really done cockpits that well. A lot of creators have gone in and tried to make their own, and they really did a pretty good job with it. But now there are dedicated cockpit parts and folks check this out. Holy man, this is a whole nother game here. Like this is so cool. I uh, never thought we would see this in uh, Simple Planes. Also, there is VR coming out soon. So I kind of think these two updates are gonna tie into each other, but this is fantastic looking. So we're gonna be checking out some creations. Uh, if you guys are excited for some more Simple Planes on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button uh, let me know down in the comments down below what you want to see next and uh what do you say we uh get to the skies all right so here is the plane name and the creator here so we can actually interact with all the buttons which is weird like i think the engine's already fired up but there's an engine start you got the canopy which canopy is down right now uh yeah we're ready to go get to the skies we'll go back to the uh the cockpit cam here in just a second uh, I want to take off and see what it looks like. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and fire up engines. Uh, there we go. Oh, geez. I was already throttled up. Oh, no. Okay, this has already gone swell. Canopy. I need to put that. Is that back down? Okay, the canopy is down now. All right, so we are ready to go. Uh, I thought we were going to do this in third person, but uh, I didn't know we were actually going to have to turn on the engine, which is so cool. All right, let's lift off. Oh, folks, it feels good being back in this game. Now, do forgive me if I've uh, kind of forgotten a lot of the controls. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to this again. Uh, I played it a little bit, but I was like, oh, a lot of this is really foreign to me. It's going to take me a bit. Holy man, this thing turns on a dime. That is actually kind of remarkable. So I know as soon as we activate our targeting, uh, the aircraft carrier and destroyers down below are gonna get super ticked off at us. So, yeah. Do we wanna do this from the cockpit? I mean, that's what this update is all about. I kinda feel like we have to do it from here. Uh, I guess for now, let's go ahead and activate our air to ground. So we have four Inferno missiles. You can see them up on the dash here. Uh, by the way, we're just climbing straight up in the sky. Uh, all right, let's go back down and let's see if we could target those uh, destroyers real quick. Hey, okay, destroyers are nine miles out. I don't know what the range is on these infernos. I used to know like all of this. Okay, we're locked on Fox 3. Okay, let's fire one more at it. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and select uh, another target here. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're getting shot at now. Do I have anti-air measures? I think I do. Okay, there it is. All right, uh, let's go ahead. I had the landing gear out again. Okay, anti-air. Let's try to get those missiles off us. Throttle up. Oh, I can hear them going by. Okay, keep spraying. We got a lock on us. Okay. All right, let's see if we can target the other one. Come on, give me a lock. Give me a lock. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, oh. Well, uh, Komodo failed massively in his first engagement. Still kind of learning the uh, controls. I kind of panicked there. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's been a good, what, one to two years since we played this? Let's try that again. Thank you. All right, we are ready to go again. Let's go ahead and fire up the engine. It is so immersive being able to click like these controls and stuff. This is cool. All right, let's select our air to ground. We do have air to air too, but I don't have any air targets at the moment. So let's go air to ground. That's four Inferno missiles. Uh, Destroyer is nine miles out. All right, let's throttle up. Okay, we got it this time. Okay, we are tracking. I'm gonna slow down. I think we can pepper them all real quick. All right, there's a lock there. Uh, Fox three, let's go ahead, do one more. All right, oh, that's landing gear. Let's go ahead and select the other one. All right, uh, countermeasures. Oh, it's coming from that destroyer. Oh, geez, that's scary. Okay, give me a lock, please. Give me a lock. Okay, Fox three, uh, we're damaged. Let's go ahead and throttle up. Countermeasures, uh, it's not gonna help with the anti-air, but I thought maybe they're gonna fire another missile there. Okay, let's throttle down. Let's come back around. Something's still locking onto us. I've only got, okay, oh, fire. 
Uh, oh, they're both still up right now. Uh, I gotta use it. All right, here we go. We're locked. Destroyer. All right, throttle up. Oh, that's gonna be a good hit. Wait for it. Oh, countermeasures, countermeasures. Ooh, okay. Oh, am I out? Oh, Komodo has wasted his countermeasures. Both destroyers are on fire, but they're both still firing at us. Like, they're, they are not down. That was not powerful enough. And Oh, we got an air target over here. Hold on. How about we go play with this? Uh-oh. Uh okay, we're getting locked on to. Uh, oh, no. Okay, evasive maneuvers. Just pull straight up. Okay, wait for the lock to go off. Where's the missile at? Oh, I can hear it. Oh, okay. How about we go grab another craft? I like that one. It's really nimble, but I feel like I need more missiles. Oh, boys! I'm back! All right, folks, we have our next craft here. This is a JSA 39. It doesn't necessarily have more missiles, uh, but it's got a lot of air to ground, and that's what I need. Uh, it's got four bombs in it, two Inferno and two Cleaver missiles. If I'm not mistaken, I think the Cleavers have a little bit longer range. Uh, one or the other is definitely a little bit more longer range missile. Uh, this one sounds like it's all fired up, so I think we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and turn off our targeting. Uh, it does have an ejection seat, and I think it's got a parachute. That's six and seven. Uh, hold on. I got to do it. Let's go. Wait. <laughs> oh, do we need to be in the cockpit cam from that? Uh, also, seven is the parachute. Where are we? Oh, here it is. All right, it is attached. Oh, I'm going to be sick. All right, real quick, just admiring the cockpit. This one doesn't have quite as many controls. Are these actual buttons we can interact with? There are some. Oh, here's your afterburner, which I think is one on the action group. All right, uh, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get ready to take off here. Throttle up. Oh, this thing throttles up really quick. Oh, boy. Okay, lift off. <laughs> that was a terrible takeoff. All right, let's not turn targeting on yet. Let's just see how this thing flies. Uh, try to get used to it. This is cool. Uh, let's go ahead and head this way. Not quite as nimble as the last one, but it's definitely a bigger aircraft. The last one was relatively small in the editor. Uh, but yeah, this is cool. You know, should we try to make a Komodo craft again? Uh, we did that a couple times. We didn't make anything particularly great. Uh, but I had a lot of fun with the creator here. Uh, the controls are really nice and it's fairly easy to uh, throw something together. Now, throwing something together like this is way more advanced and the creators on the Simple Planes uh, website are absolutely amazing. Uh, so yeah, you have to give credit where credit's due. But what do you say we light these up one more time and then we'll probably find another uh, plane, maybe something a little bit more air to air based. That way we can have a dogfight. And then, you know what? We're gonna have to grab something ridiculous from uh, the uh, Simple Planes Workshop. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, we got locks on each. Okay, those are out. Let's go countermeasures. I put my landing gear down again. Okay, countermeasures. Throttle up. Let's do the afterburner real quick. There we go. I think that's the afterburner. Oh yeah, it is. All right, let's let those missiles hit first. I'm not sure they hit. Oh jeez. okay. Oh, countermeasures. Oh yeah, both are hit. I don't know if they're down though. You know, I forgot about those cleaver missiles. They're really strong. You know, we used to attack like a big like convoy of ships. Oh, what the heck? I feel like the airplane was targeting us. There we go. We got locks. One Inferno's off. Let's go second Inferno. All right, let's get our bombs ready. I do have, oh, I thought I had a targeting for these. Uh, maybe I don't. Hold on, let's go down a little bit. There's a mod that used to uh, kind of show you the trajectory of bombs. Uh, I'm not sure I have that enabled, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of guessing. Did we outrun our Inferno missiles or did they go straight down? I don't know. All right, wait, where are my bombs? Wait, did I somehow, wait, I thought those were uh, a thing. Were those set at zero or did I drop those? Well, we did take out the destroyers, uh, but this thing behind us, I feel like it's it's wanting to start something here. Uh, you wanna go, buddy? <gasps> wait. Oh, I just had a little bit of nostalgia there. That's my first craft I ever built. I'm really surprised. I've gone through several PCs. I guess it cloud saved. Oh, that's the Komodo craft, uh, Mark 1. Okay, let's go destroy it. That's awesome. Uh, for anybody that's uh, watched the Simple Plane series on the channel, you will know what that craft is. Uh, it's poo. <laughs> we are a little out of control. I feel like we're stalling right now. What is going on? Okay, we're just up really high. All right, we can make a big turn here. We need to go target that craft, though. Uh, something feels really wrong right now. What do we do? Uh, go down. Uh, did we break something while doing that maneuver? 
All right, here, let's just gas it down. Let's let it drop for a second. Okay, throttle's down. We still have a uh, 50% of fuel. I don't know what's going on here. At some point, we're gonna see the ocean. Oh yeah, look at our altitude. We're, oh wait, what? Are we targeting something? Oh, it's Komodo's first craft. Oh, it followed us up here. Okay, I would like to target that. Let's see if we can uh, try to get a lock on it. I feel like it's trying to run into us right now, which is funny. All right, we are dropping altitude at a rapid pace. Let's go ahead and fire the engines back up. Let's spike this thing into the ocean. Uh, I'm trying to just get my bearings again. I'm having a hard time figuring out where we're at. I know we're pointing straight down, I believe. There we go. Okay, there's the, there's the island. I can't believe I got so, like, twisted around there. All right, so we should be able to target my first craft. I feel like it's aiming straight down for us, isn't it? Okay, there it is. All right, we are... Oh, we're tracking it. How far out did the interceptors go? I'm having a hard time keeping my nose, like, pointed straight. There we go. Oh, come on, come on. Just give me a lock. Okay, throttle back. Uh, Wait for it. Come on. There it is. All right, let's fire one at it. Not waste the others. Uh, Okay, is it going to hit it? We got another lock here. Oh, there we go. The Komodo craft is down. Uh, that was really far away. Uh, I think I could see a little bit of debris. You know, it'd be really funny if that debris would come and just hit us right now. So, folks, you remember what I said about the uh, whole landing thing? Uh, I went up in Tokyo Drifted, and now I can't tell what's going on. All right, counter this. Oh, jeez. Okay, the plane is starting to break itself apart. I think we're pulling too many Gs at the moment. Is it even safe to attempt to eject from this? Okay, throttle down. Uh, let's see if we can use some brakes here. I'm trying to catch. I am getting dizzy right now. Okay, this is not good. That's what we're doing. Are we aimed? Okay, we're dropping right now, but we're aimed straight up. How did I do this maneuver? All right, we got to do it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. We ejected. Yay. Okay, parachute is out. Uh, okay, I'm going to make myself dizzy, but you guys get the point. I, I wanted to land there, but yeah, I don't think I was saving that craft at all. I feel the need. The need. For speed. Ow! So folks, it's been a while since we've actually played the game and I didn't realize how ridiculous some of the creations are getting. This is a Minecraft Phantom. Like, it doesn't do anything besides fly, but it's incredible looking. Like, it's actually flapping. Uh, and I guess that's how it's staying up. Is there an engine in this? Or is the flapping really what's keeping it up? Hold on, let's go throttle down. Dude, it's totally the flapping. Look, it stops flapping and we're dropping now. So let's start flapping again. Uh, let's try to rotate it. Roll it back over. There we go. Oh, jeez. So, it can't take off or land. Oh, no. We might have stalled it out. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> there's not much we can do with it, but I really wanted to show it real quick. Uh, but, you know, there's one thing I remember about this game. Wasn't there a Kraken in this game somewhere? <laughs> All right. So, we got another little craft here. This thing's actually... Uh, Pretty nimble. The cockpit on this craft is absolutely amazing. And you know what? We're heading out to a... Oh, geez. Nope. We do not want the mouse as a joystick. Uh, we're heading out to a location, which I think the Kraken's out here somewhere. All right. So is this the pilot? Can I switch to the other seat? I'm pretty sure. Oh, here we go. Dude, look at this thing. This thing is sweet. Oh, and can I change the camera? I don't know. The camera seems locked in this one. Hold on. Let's look down. Oh, there we go. Man, that is cool looking. Uh, oh, you guys see that hump in the distance? There's a potential that might be the Kraken. Uh, <laughs> what kind of weapons do we have to fire at this bad boy? No air to air, so this is all an air to ground craft. Okay, we have, is that say purgatory? I mean, that sounds like a good thing for the, uh, the old Kraken. These are fairly big looking bombs and we got a couple rockets here. Wait, maybe the rockets are those and then maybe this middle one is the bomb. These other ones might be drop pods uh, for fuel. All right, well, uh, let's see what this thing's got. I don't know, we're gonna pretty much just fire everything and do all the groups. I, I read the description and it did say that the uh, the little purgatory, uh, those are the little missiles on the side, which I'm assuming maybe I could fire those off at will. Uh, hold on, let's go ahead and play with the groups here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here come the skies. Uh, are we going to be able to get close enough to the Kraken? That's the question. Oh, dear. You know, it's been a long time since we've seen this thing, and I'm uh, just as excited as probably the first time. The anticipation is killing me. I want to drop bombs on it. Okay. Oh, there it is. It is not happy to see me. 
Hello, Mr. Kraken. You haven't changed much, have you? Okay, go up, up. Wait, let's not release bombs yet. Watch the big old tentacles. Uh -oh. oh, it's coming close. Okay, we're good. All right, go over a little bit and let's go ahead and drop. There we go, pull up. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, wait for the hit. I heard an explosion. Uh-oh, uh, I don't think that bomb was big enough. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem too happy. We're gonna have to come back eventually with like a nuke or something and uh, see if we can take it out because, wait, what's the sky and what, okay, that's the ocean. Yeah, it doesn't seem too happy with what we did there. Uh, we didn't do any damage to it either. Well, I'm not sure what we really learned here today. We learned that Simple Planes is really awesome. The update is absolutely fantastic. And if you guys wanna see more, uh, you know what to do, hit that thumbs up button. Let's go ahead and crash into this bad boy. Uh, we're trying to hurt it, it's moving. Oh, we are totally not gonna do any damage to this thing. Uh, there we go, and there we go. 